rising sales of new electric vehicles, or EVs for short, in America, it's a surprise that there has been a major decrease in cars to generate fewer emissions and do not need constant supply of oil, gasoline, or diesel fuel needed like internal combustion engine. Electric vehicles could be the solution to climate change, cutting them carbon emissions and clearing our way significant progress in protecting the Earth's environment. With more and faster charging stations, electric vehicles are becoming a better option for road trips. With more charging stations and faster charging stations, electric vehicles are becoming up for road trips. With an average ease to see why these cars make great long distance companions. Hey everyone, my name is Kyle, and this is the Via Travelers YouTube channel. If you're new here, do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you find this video interesting and want more videos like this. The world is changing and the way we get around it is too. A lot of people are buying electric vehicles and they are proving to be the ultimate game changer. Not only do you not have to deal with gas prices or wait in the line at the pump, but these heaven sent inventions also emit zero greenhouse gases, which bring tremendous change in the world we live in. Electric cars may be the future of transportation. As they're much quieter than gas-powered vehicles, electric vehicles can provide smooth driving with high acceleration over longer distances. Travel has always been a fundamental part of human life. Human beings have been on a quest to travel since the beginning of time. Whether we are walking, testing our limits of flight, space travel, or even the basic concept of old horse and buggy. We build stronger bridges and faster trains, but there's always something else out there that will take us by surprise, such as EVs. Electric vehicles are becoming more popular than ever before. They're powered by lithium ion batteries, which have gotten cheaper over time and better too. The future of our planet lies here in electric vehicle technology. Have you considered taking an electric vehicle on your next road trip? If so, this video will show you how they work and why we think it is the way to go. I personally took a 1,000 600 mile road trip over the span of just a handful of days in a Tesla Model 3. But I have experience to show you exactly what you need to do to take the best road trip with an electric vehicle. Now let's get into the top 10 tips to consider when embarking on a road trip with your electric vehicle. Number one, figure out your route in advance. When planning a trip, it is always good to know what best routes to take to get to your destination. A lot can go into planning your road trip vacation, including deciding what routes will be taken during your travel, as well as booking lodging uh, that are preferably close to your charging stations. So it's best to plan accordingly. The good news with a the Tesla, they have a handy road trip planner that I use to figure out the best route to take. And then in the dashboard of the Tesla, you do have the exact directions and stops that you'll make no matter how far you're going, whether that's California to New York or just a short trip from uh, your local metro area. For me, it was absolutely critical that I used the Tesla road trip planner in advance. I went on my road trip from Minneapolis to Southern California on a Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive standard model, which has the shortest range in distance. This meant for more stops, more flexibility, and definitely some learning lessons along the way. Number two, make sure you have enough power before you leave home. When you're about to embark on a long drive, make sure that your electric vehicle has been charged up at home first. Electric cars come standard with a 120 volt portable charger, allowing them to be plugged in into any outlet and they don't require special installation. All you need to do is plug your car into an electric socket at home, or if you upgraded to a higher voltage, It'll be fully charged in the morning. Generally, the Model 3 takes about eight to 10 hours, even just on the lowest 120 volt charger. But how long it takes to charge your car battery will depend on several factors, including the size and capacity for charging in comparison with other vehicles within its class, but then also what you have in the car when you use the charging, the temperature, and a whole host of other things. But at the end of the day, never ever start a road trip in an electric vehicle without a full charge. I learned this the hard way. It wasn't so bad, but I did have to go 20 minutes out of the way with a 30 minute to 40 minute charge, which set me back an hour to an hour and 15 minutes out of my road trip, simply because I didn't start the day with a full charge. Step three, check if there are charging stations along the way. The best way to manage your EV's range is by ensuring that you know 
where charging stations are, not just within your EV's network, like if you drive a Tesla, but you should also know independent charging stations, wall chargers, any option really. And the best way to do that is download the app PlugShare, and that'll help you find any charging station that's available within your journey. Step four, always have a backup plan. It's always good to have a plan B. Be safe and smart by making sure that you have everything prepared with the necessary cables and adapters ready as you start your journey on the road. To ensure that you're always prepared for any emergency, have an alternative charging option for each step of your route. For me, I like to have an extension cord and multiple adapters uh, just in case I lost the conversion for the Tesla uh, charging to J1772 type charging, but also have as many options as you can for fast charging. If you wanna go to a different network outside of Tesla supercharger or even vice versa, having options, flexibility, and adaptability on a road trip with an EV is absolutely essential. So make sure, and I'll drop a few links to some products in the description below. Step five, prepare for any type of weather. Except for extreme heat, EV batteries perform better in warmer weather. As winter approaches, it is important to keep in mind the limitations of electric vehicles and their ability to properly function. EVs are not as good at tolerating extreme temperatures when compared to internal combustion cars and internal combustion engines because they often lose 18% or more under a benchmark test that revolves around freezing conditions. On hot days, find a shady spot to park your electric car so that you can avoid overheating and battery drain. It's best to park with the air conditioning off, of course, and try not to use as much power with things like sentry mode and security and pre-air conditioning your car, unless it's absolutely necessary. Before I proceed, if you are liking this so far, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video. Click the link in the description box to avail our free newsletter on travel or anything else when another video will be uploaded as well as other cool stuff about travel. Also comment down below if you're planning a road trip of your own with your very own electric vehicle. Step six, make sure you know all of the different types of charging stations. There are three levels of charging stations for electric vehicles. Before you plan your next road trip, be sure to find a level three station that has fast chargers and even different types of chargers will have variability in the charging capability. These places are perfect for travelers who want the convenience of not having to worry about waiting for the charge time. It would take an hour or so for you to fill up your EV to 80% or more. If you plan on staying the night, then a level two charger is what's best for your car. These chargers can take up to eight hours, fully recharge, and are more efficient than quick charge because they power down when not in use, which saves energy. Lastly, let's talk about level one. This level is really only helpful if you plan on staying at the same location for a very, very long time. But at the end of the day, any time you can have your car plugged in, the better. A happy electric vehicle is a plugged in electric vehicle. Always keep that in mind that whenever you get a chance to plug in your car or park your car, ensure it's plugged in. Step seven, range anxiety is real. For many people, range anxiety refers to the fear that they'll run out of juice and electrons and be strained in somewhere with no access to charging. Range anxiety ignites a fear of getting stuck somewhere, which adds time or inconvenience to trips. It's just that has to that worry that you just don't want to have hanging on your head well, you know, you're not doing much in your car on a road trip. But with recent improvements in electric car battery range, it's now possible to drive coast to coast as I, well, I went from Midwest, no coast to the West Coast, but, you know, nearly as far as North to South as you could possibly go. Uh, the problem with range anxiety is that it makes people hesitant to take electric car for a long ride. Plus, while you're on the road, you continuously think about it and it becomes bothersome and you want to manage it. Well, it is a real fear. Experts say that you'll be able to drive, you know, your car. And as you can see, I did it with no problem. I did have a few moments of range anxiety when we did reach battery uh, limit of less than 10%. Step eight, always book hotels and stay at public places with charging stations. There are a few hotels that have an expanded network of charging stations and brands. Marriott's and Holiday Inns are a couple that come directly to mind. And so when traveling, you should try to stay at those hotels with charging stations directly on site. 
Even if it's across the street or up, up the street, you don't ever want to lose time on a very long haul road trip. Good idea to contact the hotel before you arrive or even use PlugShare so you can understand how reliable that charging station is on site. Public charging stations are becoming more popular now that electric vehicles have come on the scene. There's a variety of options for you on how you can charge your car, whether it be free or paid with a credit card or even a subscription within your EV network. Electric vehicles are a revolutionary way to reduce carbon emissions to save our planet. They have the potential of reshaping the world's transportation sector by drastically cutting down on pollution, clearing away obstacles for significant climate progress. Step nine, keep your EV happy. Your battery life can be dramatically increased by slowing down and avoiding quick acceleration. Lower driving consumes less energy, prolonging the time that you have with your car's charge remaining to get from point A and all the way back to home again or wherever else is that you need to go. Especially if it's long haul, you're going to want to keep your battery happy. Keep a consistent speed. Don't use too much power or consume too much of the amenities that your electric vehicle has to offer. Driving slower will conserve energy used from the electric engine so you can go longer between charges within a single drive. And like I said earlier, a happy EV is a plugged in EV. Always keep it plugged in when you're not using it. Step 10. I'm that battery charge. The one thing that I absolutely love about my electric vehicle is the fact that I can always be charging the vehicle when I'm doing something else. Uh, a perfect example is sleeping. And so the perfect time to charge your EV is at night. You can get some shut eye while it charges, which means you'll be ready in the morning. The time it takes to charge an electric car can vary, like I said, depending on the size, the speed of your charging point. And for, for example, fast charging stations take 30 minutes as opposed to 12 hours or even longer for standard outlets. But make sure that you just keep the car plugged in and be ready for when you need to leave. It's always back to whether, how long you need to charge from when you're going to leave for the next segment of your road trip. After driving all the way from Minneapolis to Southern California in just a matter of a couple days, and then heading back after a few weeks, so they accumulated over 1,600 miles in less than seven days of driving time. Electric vehicles are ideal road trip vehicles with features like autopilot, games, movies, the ability to work on the go. Electric vehicles are the ultimate solution to a road trip. The ability for you to explore and see new sites is unparalleled with electric vehicles. It simply doesn't get better with driving your electric vehicle through a national park and knowing that it's absolutely completely emission free. We hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. You can also check out our other videos for more great content like this. Also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads. Check out the link in the description box below to avail our free newsletter where we announce when each video will be uploaded and give links to the products featured in these clips, as well as other cool travel stuff. Until next time, cheers.